Am I the asshole for blowing up at my husband for how he reacted to the news of my brother's death? My brother passed away two weeks ago. He was in the hospital for weeks. He was very sick. During that time I was very stressed out and worried a lot. I was busy with work, the house, my son and my brother. My husband works from home. I work long hours. When I got home from the hospital I argued with my husband about an issue. Instead of talking to me like an adult he suddenly stopped talking to me and started texting me saying that way we can have a civil talk. He'd do it all day knowing I'm stressed out and don't have time for this. Whenever I ask him to do something or ask him about our son he'd stay silent and type his response in a text then send it to me. He only talks to our son. And has taken over house chores but he doesn't talk to me directly. I'm not gonna lie it made me feel awful because at the time I really needed to talk to somebody and he was being unreasonable. I ignored him thinking he'll quit doing it soon. Two weeks ago, at 7 in the morning, I received a call from my mother telling me that my brother just passed away. It was an awful devastating moment for me. I was in shock but calm enough to give my husband the news. I told him my brother just passed away. He was still in bed at the time but was on his phone. His reaction was that he looked at me for a few seconds. Then started typing on his phone. My phone was still in my hand when I received a text from him. Saying, I'm sorry, and that's it. Didn't speak to me even after hearing the news. I didn't expect he'd do that. I lost it. I blew up at him and I started crying. I called his behavior unreasonable and his reaction to this devastating news was awful. I was hurt and he finally spoke up and said that he's the one who's hurt and that I shouldn't have blown up at him because it wasn't his fault my brother died. He then left the room. A few minutes later he started knocking on the door apologizing and trying to say he didn't mean to make me feel bad. I got ready and I went to my mom's house. He called and texted but I didn't respond. My mom asked about him and told me I shouldn't lash out at him because that will never solve the issue. After I told her. Not the asshole at a moment to prove that he was your partner there to support you in one of the worst moments of your life he chose his wants and how he felt. Text him your divorce lawyer's number. ETA. Holy crap I come back from the gym to awards. Thank you everyone. Dot. Whether she leaves or not I feel she needs to do something serious to get his attention, since some people are criticizing my divorce lawyer comment, and going to her mother's was clearly not enough. But she needs time to grieve before having to deal with the next trauma, her husband's behavior. I'm genuinely horrified at how he treats you. Your brother died, and instead of hugging you and giving you comfort of any kind, he fucking texts you right in front of your face. Hashtag T H I S W O U L D E N D M Y M A R R I A G E. To be this petty after hearing about my brother's death is just cruel. I'm so sorry for your loss and for the fact your husband is more interested in winning an argument with you than consoling you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You dealt with his bizarre, thoroughly immature behavior for two weeks and when he carried on with it at one of your most vulnerable moments, you couldn't hold back. I get it. I get it all day. I'm really sorry for your loss. I hope things at home get better soon. You can't be dealing with all that nonsense at the moment. Not the asshole. Your husband is behaving shittily. Take some time for this. You need to begin grieving and get to a place where you can discuss this. It sounds like a problem that's been building for some time. What he did was not helpful, reasonable or healthy. It was childish and manipulative. I'm sorry about your brother op. I found therapy a lifeline during a heavy year of loss. Not the asshole. Op, please consider staying away. You are dealing with family in hospital, long work hours and the house. Through all this he is working from home and you try to talk about the issue to get stonewalled for weeks. The fact that you even have to ask or fight about getting help is mind-blowing. This says that he rarely pulls his weight to begin with. He would rather fight than help you at your weakest moment. That in itself tells you all you need to know. The fact that he texts I'm sorry in the bed next to you is enough to find a divorce lawyer. Also your mom can't be trusted. I'm sorry but to excuse this callous behavior in regard to her own son's death is appalling. His reaction was that he looked at me for a few seconds. Then started typing on his phone. My phone was still in my hand I received a text from him. Op. This man hates you. He hates you. For having your own needs I stared of endlessly catering to his. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I would literally divorce someone if they did that to me if my sister died. Info. What was the original fight about that resulted in your husband not talking to you directly? 
So during, what I imagine, is one of the hardest times in your life, while struggling to be there for your brother and your family while your brother was dying, your husband was concerned about how hard it was for him and then stopped speaking to you after you guys argued about it. Upon hearing that your brother had died, he looked you dead in the eyes and instead of rushing to comfort you and offer his condolences, he sent you a text. Girl, this isn't what marriage is supposed to be. Not the asshole. I don't know how long you two have been together, and I'm not trying to be judgy. Dot, but if my brother-in-law died I'd be devastated, because we're family. I certainly wouldn't keep up some immature, inappropriate bullshit after something like that. In my opinion he needs to beg you for forgiveness. This was a terrible thing for him to do. Not the asshole, and I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. I'm so sorry your brother died. Honestly though, even if your brother's death had nothing to do with this, your husband is still the asshole. Using the silent treatment for two weeks, or at all, is the most immature, ineffective, passive-aggressive, relationship-killing, bullshit. Maybe Yal could try couples counseling. He's obviously having trouble communicating in a healthy way. This is a marriage ender for me. He just showed you that his ego is more important than you and your feelings. This is something that will not change without serious self-reflection on his part, probably aided with therapy. Now this isn't my relationship, so maybe it's worth it to you to help him, but for me, I would leave him. Unless you want to stay with him it is not your responsibility to help him be a better person and partner. Not the asshole. your husband sounds like a prideful person. Even when your family dies, his top priority is to feel superior to you. Consider some kind of help, because I can't reasonably see his point of view. Not the asshole who does that. I mean seriously WHO does that. Your husband is a cold-hearted selfish jerk who wouldn't know any empathy at all unless it affected him personally. So he couldn't put his pettiness aside to comfort you. Wow this should seriously make you question. Do you even want to be with him? Not the asshole so he ignored you for a couple weeks and remained committed to that over comforting you. I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope you can find comfort with your family. Not the asshole how the hell could you ever trust him again? He is awful for doing this to you. I feel like I'm typing this out every week what is the point of being married if you can't count on your spouse in times like this? Like seriously, a stranger would treat you better than this if they heard you found out a sibling died. If he couldn't make a major effort to reconcile this would be it for me. Not the asshole I'm guessing your mom just doesn't want to deal with the problem when she has such a painful event to deal with it. Whoa. Not the asshole. I'm very sorry for your loss. Your husband behaved in a petty, childish way and wasn't there for you during such a difficult time. Texting you a response to the news of your brother's death. Unfreaking believable. Marriage is about understanding that sometimes your feelings have to take a backseat because your spouse is going through something bigger than your petty crap. Even if you didn't behave perfectly towards him in this situation, he should have put on his big boy pants and supported you. He's being such an asshole. Info. Your husband's response to your bereavement was appalling and makes him anishole regardless, but how much of anishole he is may depend somewhat on the part you skimmed over. When I get home from the hospital I argued with my husband about an issue. What was the issue, and what did you say, or how did you say it, that upset your husband so much he switched to texting? I'm so sorry you lost your brother. I have a feeling there was a lot more to this fight if it led to your husband only communicating via text message with you. However, the moment you told him that terrible news, this petty fight should have been done. The fact that he still used text message after this news makes him a ginormous asshat. Not the asshole and I'm sorry for your loss. Info. Is your husband a sociopath? Not the asshole. He's punishing you to hurt you. He doesn't want to be a good husband and instead, he wants to hurt you. You want to stay with this man? Because I for sure would run like hell from a narcissist like that. NTA. Not the asshole. Your husband sounds like a petty little weenie. When your partner tells you, someone I dearly love has just died, the correct response is to be comforting and be there for the grieving process. Not sending a text from the same room and then getting prissy when called out on terrible behavior. Edit typo. Not the asshole. If the situation were reversed he would expect empathy and sympathy from you. He would expect you to comfort him, regardless if you two were arguing. He decided to be an ass when he knew that's not what situation warranted. He decided to continue to put his feelings first despite knowing you needed his support. You mother is wrong and is focusing on the wrong problem. Instead of supporting you in a time you really needed his help, 
he got angry because you had to divert your attention from him to your brother. Not the asshole. Your husband acted like he was a 12 years old before your brother passed. After he passed he was a complete insensitive asshole. NTA. What he did in that moment would have ended things for me. I'm so sorry for your loss. OMG he really went OC at the top unreasonable there. You are not the asshole and to be honest you should hoe to a council now because I fear about how you two are now going to work it out. NTA. Send a text that you want a divorce. Or if he wants to save the marriage he needs to apologize over and over verbally and go to marriage counseling. Not the asshole. I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. I feel like shutting down and texting to communicate, especially going on for that long, is quite immature. But when you told your husband about your brother, that should have been a major time out moment. The fact that he couldn't put aside whatever else was going on and focus on being there for you in that moment was really insensitive and hurtful. Heck, even just a hug would have been better than that text. Your reaction to his lack of response was totally understandable. He's how old and responding through text like that? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Although your husband may have felt hurt, it is immature for him to hold a grudge for such a long time instead of communicating with you. You deaf have the right to call out his behavior. Losing a loved one is not easy. Props to you for juggling all of this at once and staying strong. Not the asshole. Your husband, however, is worse than being tar. That would be too nice of a phrase after what he did to you. Not the asshole. Your husband doesn't love you. I'm really, really sorry given the terrible loss of your brother, but if he loved you, he would have done none of this. Be done with him. Not the asshole. You should concentrate your energy on the child that has a chance of maturing into a full, compassionate adult. Your son, not your mills. Send him back until he's fully cooked. WTF is wrong with your husband? Not enough information. What was going on before? Was every discussion escalating into an argument? I agree, texting you that he was sorry was a pretty cold response. I cannot help but think of the question. Are you better off with or without him? You have a husband that does not help out around the house, reading between the lines. When you ask for help, he gets not only mad, but acts like a toddler. Then continues this behavior for weeks. Then, you have a death in your family, and he still acts like a toddler. I would rethink this marriage. Your workload and sanity will be so much better without him. You have no support now, only more physical and emotional work by having him around. I really do not think he is fixable with counseling there are too many issues. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The whole, silent treatment, stonewalling thing is immature and toxic but to be unable to shake the bullshit when a real disaster hits is quite evil. This person has no empathy. I'm sorry for your painful loss and you're a whole of a partner. I hope you can find healing and peace. I swear some men just revert right back to being a bratty teenager when things aren't going their way. So sorry for your loss op. I lost one of my brothers is a teenager so I understand your pain. Not the asshole. He's emotionally abusing you. Info how often are you screaming at your husband instead of having an actual conversation or civil argument? Sounds like you left a lot of shit out. Not the asshole. My brother was in the hospital a couple of years ago, in a medically induced coma. My husband drove me an hour every single day to the hospital and sat in the waiting room while my dad and I were in the room with my brother. He let me cry on the way home. He let me yell at him, even though it wasn't his fault. He supported me and stood by my side the entire time. That's what marriage is supposed to be about. Not being petty and winning a stupid argument. I am so sorry for you loss. And I am so sorry that your significant other compounded your fear and grief by lacking the ability to be human. While we obviously only know this one thing told from your perspective, if I was in such a situation with the same perspective I couldn't forgive that behavior. It was callous, uncalled for, and lacked any empathy, love, or care. That would be the end of the relationship for me. But that's me. If you feel this could be salvaged I would recommend only attempting via professionals couples therapy. I also hope you'll seek grief-centered therapy for yourself, if you've not already. You are not the asshole. And it is mind-boggling how cruel you describe your significant other to be. I am so very sorry. Not the asshole you need to begin the steps of divorce. This man is a gigantic narcissistic child, and he is going to leave it up to you to try to repair the damage to your marriage that he caused. If he doesn't suggest therapy, counseling or trying to fight for the relationship with unconditional begging for forgiveness on his part, then follow through with the divorce. 
he is a narcissistic asshole and he's going to leave it up to you to fix what he broke, and the rest of your life is going to be this way, and he's going to think he can emotionally manipulate, blackmail, and abuse you to get what he wants and never take responsibility or blame when he's at fault. Not the asshole. You were already at your wit's end and had just been dealt a huge blow. I don't blame you for blowing up at your husband. When informed of your brother's death, your husband should have realized that your marital differences were no longer important and communicated with you verbally. I'm so sorry for your loss and hope you find comfort in fond memories of your brother. Wow, your husband is a legit bastard. He hasn't said a word to you in two weeks, including when your brother died. He cannot even say, I'm sorry, out loud. Two simple words, and he can't even bear that much. Your NTA, but you might want to stop referring to him as your partner as he's clearly just some dude who lives off of your hard work and siphons whatever energy you even have left into these petty, pathetic disagreements. Please get a divorce. Text him about it. NTA. Not the asshole. Pay attention to this. Your husband chose to ignore you and treat you like garbage during one of the most difficult periods of your life when you needed his support. This is not a loving partner. Divorce his nasty ass, that will definitely solve the issue. Not the asshole. Op. Good gravy. My ex was a complete and utter passive-aggressive asshole to me the entire time we were together, but when my dad died, he hugged me, said he was sorry, and was actually supportive during the funeral. In fact, we were actually in the middle of a pretty heated argument when I got the news. Had he been this compassionate and empathetic the rest of the time we were together, we might still be together. Not the asshole. This is bottom of the barrel. Please leave. You don't deserve this. You are not the asshole. Giving the silent treatment, texting or not, is emotional abuse. And no amount of self-absorbed gaslighting on his part can change that. The night your brother died, your husband did mean to make you feel bad as he looked you in the eye and passively aggressively texted you instead of replying like a normal person. He just didn't expect there to be any repercussions for his childish actions.